when you do these things, you're creating a vibration within you and your cells are responding. You cannot lie to your body. It knows what you think. So when you have these negative mindsets around the habits that you have uh, or why you're doing a certain thing, why your why is so powerful, your body hears you and it will respond. Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Andrea Johnson, Reiki Master Teacher, Energy Worker, Spiritual Lifestyle Content Maker. And today I thought I would take you guys along with me for a weekend in the life of a spiritual worker, an energy worker, and just a weekend in the Ozarks on a beautiful spring day. So today is Spiritual Saturday. I am actually getting ready to go to Mystics and I have a full schedule ahead of me today. It's not almost 9.30. Um, my first session is at 10, so I have a Reiki session at 10, and then another Reiki session at 11, and then I am teaching from noon until 3. So, I have a full <laughs> a full day of energy work. So I'm gonna be high as a kite on life after that. I did my workout this morning, as you guys saw. I did a water meditation, showered off, got my aura cleaned. I packed my bag, and then I just did a little tarot card pull just to kind of like foresee what's coming and my sessions um, and just to prepare me for what I need to know. These are um, regulars of mine, so I'm already very familiar with their field. I just thought it would be a fun vlog to take you guys along with me, show you guys what it's like and just a day in my life full of energy work and living um, one foot in both doors is what I like to call it, a human life, but also a spiritual being um i don't know what you want to call it so anyway it's a magical life we'll just say that are you even spiritual if you have sage and crystals in your purse hey guys so we are done been a full day of energy work i'm on another dimension right now <laughs> So uh, I didn't get to film much because honestly, like it was back to back to back. All of my clients showed up back to back to back. It's more than just, people think energy work is just woo woo, right? It's more than just that. Yes, I can feel the energy in other people because we are all empaths, guys. We are all empaths. We can feel these things and it's when you practice and set the intention to get better at feeling the energies and facing your own fears, your own triggers, your own emotions, do you better understand the shifts and vibrations that you feel within yourself? So when you set the intention to develop out the skill of clairsentient, which is the feeling, um, and some people are more stronger in this aspect than others, when you do energy work sessions, yes, you get messages you get psychic knowings you feel into somebody else's energy you kind of get a glimpse of what's going on in their life but you don't get the full picture the other person completes the picture with the information that they give you based upon the information you give them what i feel like can be considered true healing is when we dive deep when we talk about the shit that you've stored in your energy um in your body the subconscious the subconscious when we talk about that that frees you of that energy that moves it in itself besides just the Reiki session moving it also you're releasing energy and then I'm helping you shift your perspective of whatever is going on right so the issues that you're having it almost ends up turning into a little therapy session and that's okay and that is 100% okay. And I understand that there's not a lot of people, I don't say a lot, 
there's some people that aren't ready for that that they are not ready to let go of certain energies because sometimes our demons serve us in certain points that we're not ready to heal just yet uh, and that's okay it's neither right nor wrong it all is neither right nor wrong so that is where it's not just woo woo bullshit i'm actually picking up on stuff on in your field and the fact that you came to me to heal for an energy session nothing is by coincidence all right nothing in the universe is by coincidence you came to me for a reason jesus said it himself he could not heal the universe he could not heal everybody who in the world right why because he knew the people who came to him he could heal because they came for a reason it's the same thing with energy work so anyway had to get that off i just felt like i needed to speak about it because my sessions were amazing today my class was amazing today a lot of deep healing took place a lot of perception perceptives whatever you want to call it views on your life were shifted so I feel really good about it I keep in touch with all of my clients and I make sure I check in to see how they're doing because ultimately and like we talked about in the sessions too you're always gonna get triggered you're always gonna get triggered guys you will always be brought to back to a place where life will test you and even though you're gonna leave feeling great and on a higher level of you know vibration out of an energy work session it will shift because life will trigger you again. The same things. But it is of your conscious awareness and your perception that has to change. Therefore, your triggers will change. You'll start to realize things will no longer trigger you that used to. And ultimately, and even with my own experience, it starts to happen when you stop paying attention to it. When you stop giving these things attention and telling yourself that something is wrong. The lack of self-love that you give yourself. Self-love and compassion in the moment. Accepting yourself for what you are is the greatest healer you will ever have. You are your greatest healer. I am just the channel to remind you that. Anyway, I gotta go. This dude's riding my ass, so. Good morning, or I guess good afternoon now. <laughs> um, so, hello, welcome to Sunday. I did not vlog much last night because I didn't do much last night. Um, I really wanted to spend time with my husband. Saturdays are kind of our date night and we just cooked dinner, we had a fire, had some wine. I made popcorn and passed out on the couch watching Mandalorian. So that is typically our Saturday nights. Um, after my full day of energy work, I was just kind of like, in another zone pretty much this happens all the time when i do energy work sessions when my saturdays are booked so anywho um and that reminds me today is day two of the reiki 21 day cleanse meaning light cleanse so we are in the root chakra and last night there was a ton of root chakra healing a lot of conversation between me and my husband so ironically that happened too anywho um so right now I just finished up my workout. I always work out Sunday mornings. I just like to get my blood flowing. I don't do anything strenuous. Um, so I ran some and then I like walked on the treadmill and read a book. It is just really more for my mind and mental sanity. So um, yeah, right now I'm gonna meet Austin. We're gonna go have lunch together and then we are going to go do our grocery shopping together. So today is Sunday fun day, just day, meal prep, cleaning, organizing getting ready for the work week so i'm going to take you guys with me give you some productivity vibes so hopefully this gives you some inspiration some motivation if you can feel my vibes coming through the camera so <laughs> anyway uh yeah you can do that with youtube videos if you guys uh, are lacking motivation watch somebody who you vibe with that you can absorb their frequency and take some of that motivation vibes and use it in your own life so Anyway, let's get going.
to stick to mostly whole foods as you can see I'm mostly plant-based but yes I do eat some meat I don't give myself labels and I just listen to my body so I encourage you all to do the same but um, yeah so all of this was like $250 ish I know we bought like cat food and stuff like that so it's a little bit more but yeah so this is essentially what we eat during the week and I'm going to I'm trying to eat more I'm trying to cut out more of the processed foods but yes we do have some crap foods as you can see of like protein bars and stuff like that they're more processed but um, I'm actually going to try and make some of my own jam today some of you know some of my own milks to try to cut out like gums and things like that so if I can make it whole food, like if I can make it on my own, I try to do it. I think it's worth it because whatever you consume, guys, your body is becomes that. You, you the food that you eat, you become. It's the building foundations. <laughs> it's the building blocks of you. So I try to, I think it's worth the money to spend extra, you know, dollars on whole foods or good quality things or organic. So Sunday night obviously I just uh, edited the rest of the night that's typically what I do I wanted to end this vlog on sort of a positive note or just to I like to if you guys haven't seen my vlogs already you kind of know that I have to put in some kind of a message I don't know why I just feel the need to I was on my I do I'm about to work out obviously and I was in my Facebook group uh, with a bunch of ladies who do, you know, the beach body workouts with me. And one of the coaches posted a poll and asked like, what do people struggle with the most? And it kind of got me thinking and she listed out a whole thing and everybody just put all these different answers as far as, you know, um, nutrition, like, you know, staying accountable, the workout itself to mindset and just like, it got me really thinking because this is something that I struggled with hardcore and still am trying to like heal within myself um, is my relationship and my mindset around food and fitness. Wow, what do we got going on here? And I really do think that a lot of people struggle with this 
because of one, the diet industry, um, it's money, and the fitness industry, it's money, all these products and the workouts, and plus, you know, just health in general. We want to be healthy individuals, but there's like so much information out there that it is very overwhelming, and honestly, it's hell. Like, I know guys because I've been down that freaking path and I still get on that path. Um, you can ruin your relationship with all of these things just because you can get yourself stuck in a freaking loop, a, a loop of hell. Um, <laughs> the vortex of suck is what I call it. Um, basically what I'm trying to say here guys is that everything health and fitness is it stems from a mindset and I noticed that when I changed my mind that is when things started to shift for me and I and you're probably like well what the, what the hell am I supposed to do I try to think these things I try to do the mind exercises or whatever um, or you know trying to manifest certain things if you're into that kind of stuff as you see my channel um, because like uh, I've done all those things I've tried over and over and over of doing everything that I like you know preach of being the person that you want to be and scripting it out and feeling into it and things like that and those are all great tools even exercise is you know it's a good tool food is medicine like there are so many great things about these um, aspects of health and fitness in so many ways that health and fitness is basically a mirror for your life um, so it was like it was very frustrating and what I was struggling with was just my mindset um, my mindset of I was fearing certain foods the mindset of like I had to label myself as like I you know plant-based eater meat was off of the table um, you know I wouldn't touch like certain processed foods or like it was just a fearful restriction right um, and then I would do the whole like and I still do like I monitor what I eat as far as like calorie wise and very conscious of it but I'm nowhere near to what I used to be like weighing out every single freaking thing stressing stressing about the calories stressing about the macros because I was basically everything in my social media everything that I watched on YouTube like I obsessed over health and fitness because I just really love it it's a passion of mine but it turned into a hell it turned into a hell and I got obsessed with these things and it took a turn um, at one point they served me until I started stressing about it and therefore it went down a bad road so I really feel like there was at one point where I had good habits, I had a good mindset, and it turned into a negative vibration. And I started, my relationship started to crumble. And this video is kind of going off um, on probably a whole nother video I need to make. But the point being is you do these things out of your mindset. I was self-sabotaging from a point of being because of my mindset, because of the fears that I had, because of the restrictions that I had, the habits that I had picked up because of the restriction, um, because of you know certain traumas that I was using food for emotional eating. Um, I was self-sabotaging because I didn't think that I was, you know, worthy of achieving my goals and my fitness goals. I was actually scared of achieving my fitness goals because I've achieved goals before and then once I did it, I wasn't able to maintain it. And then so the reverting backness of going back made everything worse. So my biggest takeaway on this for right now, mindset is the key. It totally boils down to your mindset. What you eat, it's it's out of either, you know, what your view on the food is. Are you eating and having fear behind it? Are you eating emotionally? Um, when you do these things, you're creating a vibration within you and your cells are responding. You cannot lie to your body. It knows what you think. So when you have these negative mindsets around the habits that you have uh, or why you're doing a certain thing, why your why is so powerful, your body hears you and it will respond. So if you're doing things not from a point of love and your mindset is not for your highest good, your body knows the reason why you're doing these things and it will respond. 
plus pile the food, you know, the vibration from the types of food you're eating on top of that. I guarantee you guys, and I've had this thought too, your thoughts and the guilt that you have around food is way worse than actually consuming the damn thing. You get your mind in alignment and you shift your perspective on why you're doing the things that you're doing. And then you start becoming the person that you want to be. And a lot of that for me started with letting go. What you give your attention to is what you manifest. And that is what I like to call what you resist persists. If you keep putting emphasis on that you're not this thing right now, you're not where you want to be right now, you will keep continuing to be not where you want to be. If you keep putting emphasis on your relationship with food being shit, um, your eating is shit, your person that eats junk food, you have like food addictions, all this shit that you want to tell yourself, you will continue to be that person. And no matter how bad you want to change, no matter how much you do something, and then it conflicts with what you want to be in your mind, your action, your body conflicts with what you want. So it creates resistance. The Holy Trinity is out of alignment. That creates stress. You have to get them in alignment, meaning shift your perspective, shift the reasons, what you're telling yourself, why you're doing these things. You'll create a different vibration. And it takes time. It takes time to break habits, especially habits that you've accepted as yourself or identified as yourself, meaning they're stuck in your subconscious, meaning your body. That energy has become part of you and that takes time to break. I did not wake up one day and heal my relationship with all of this. I'm still trying to heal. I'm better, definitely better, but it's a process. So I feel like I went all over the map. There's a lot that I can talk about with this guys and I probably need to make specific videos for specific things that I've struggled with. Cause I can tell you one thing, I, I really think I've hit a, like all over the map with health, fitness, diet, done it all, done every diet, done every workout routine, tried to look a certain way, bodybuilding, all the bullshit. So. If you want to drop anything in the comments below that maybe I could help with, share some experience with on how I've shifted my perspective on something, or I might have some resources that helped me that can help you. So anyway, guys, I'm sending you after I talk about health and fitness as uh, I showed you guys my grocery haul and uh, I'm about to go work out right now. But anyway, I will catch you guys in the next vlog. I'm sending you all of my light and all of my love. We'll see ya.